Keep your mouth and then you keep your destiny. Shut your mouth and your destiny will be shut. This cannot happen. This, it can't happen. How can everyone that marries in my family come home? Four women married and all of them returned home. And you are blaming the men. No, there is something wrong in the line. It's time you rise and alarm in the spirit. The Bible says, let the watchmen blow their trumpet for awareness so that Israel can know that the days of war are now. And then he said, woe unto that watchman who has not blown his own trumpet. In fact, when Jeremiah was to write it, he said, woe unto that man whose sword is not soaked in blood. You can't have a sword and your sword is not soaked in blood. He's not talking about physical sword. It's time for the waters to arise. Keep on looking at your children. Anytime you notice something that doesn't look like it, go to God and tell God, this is not the covenant. This is not the covenant. You notice a kind of attitude in the life of your husband. Go to God and, nah, nah, nah. This is not the covenant. This cannot be the covenant. Don't regularize affliction.